Hey everybody, Mark here with iApple Tech 128 videos, and today I'm going to do the review of the Apple SuperDrive. Let's get started. Taking a look around the SuperDrive, you'll see that it has a attached, permanently attached USB cable, and it's not very long. You can see the distance. On the top, it shares the same aluminum body as the MacBook Air and MacBook Pro do, so it looks similar to it. On the front, you can see that there is the slot for the um, CD. And I just turned the light on so you can see that there's like a fabric cloth, so you don't have to worry about scratching your CD. On the bottom, you have a Apple logo surrounded by a um, pedestal to keep it off of the table in that way it won't scratch the surfaces so you know all you have to do to attach it is grab the USB cable and pop it into a USB port if we hop into disk utility you can see that it recognizes the super drive without a CD inserted so it still knows it's there even without a CD in there and you can click on it and get more information about the super drive alone it's very easy to put in a CD all you have to do is just put it in the slot, gently push it in, and then from there it will accept the CD and it'll start doing its work. While there's nothing going on in the super drive and it's idling, it's very quiet and calm. It's not really doing anything. You can barely notice it. But when it's actually burning something, it gets very loud and it starts to vibrate a lot, so don't pick it up when it's happening. Overall, I'm very impressed with the super drive. It shares the same features and body of the MacBook Airs and Pros so it blends into your setup. It also is very quick when it's burning things but it also does depend on the type of CD and what you're burning it to. If you have any questions about this be sure to leave in the comment section below. I'll do my best to get back to you. Subscribe for more videos and be sure to like this video. Thanks for watching.